welcome to Louisiana. Charles told the tackle paw eaters lived on the shores of tackle paws were cannibals that eat themselves but they eat you. The way they protect themselves and get eaten by mosquitoes you're already small. Uh, yeah. When he caught an alligator, stood the top of his tail, took the fat line off, cut it in chunks, put it in a plate jar and let it melt to use that lotion for the sleep Wow. <laughs> if you're in the woods out here, you got to cut your way to grab your feet and branch and you can roll up the fire around. You get a pretty good sized ball to cover your cut, you pull the ball off, turn the stick away, flatten it off, and you put it on your cut, you pull it like a bed, and you then cut it over with a little chicken cheese, but I'm going to spot it, and you're going to get a cut. Huh. Like I said, you're going to call them Morgan Dreamer, right? Yeah. In my 19th geography, you're going to have to go like this. Hello, here we are in Louisiana and we're in Cajun country, we're in Lafayette and uh, we came to visit the Acadian village. So who were the Acadians? Well, they were French settlers in Canada who um, had kind of sworn peace with the French and the English. They didn't want to be a part of anything and they kind of were left alone for, for several you know, decades and, until uh, they established their own communities, really settled the land from scratch, lived well with the Indians there. Everything was going great until about 1754 when uh, one of the British commanding officers who was, um, he did it illegally apparently, uh, but he was, uh, he said that they had to swear an oath to England and also uh, denounce their Catholic faith. Well, that didn't go over so well, um, and they ended up, they refused to do it. He ended up completely burning out their villages, so they were sent pretty much into exile and tried to find another place to live. One of the places that they came in about eight, 1764, I think it was, yeah, about 1764, was Louisiana, and they, they were very, very poor. Like I said, they were exiles. They felt like they didn't fit in anywhere. They spoke French, but a, a different dialect of French, so even the French people here weren't really responding well to them. So they, they built, but they, they had their own community and they, um, they built, built their lives again here in some of the hardest swampland areas uh, around. So a um, very interesting uh, feature of history and something that definitely added a different flavor to this area for sure. The Acadian Village now you can visit has a lot of the original buildings from multiple towns in the area that they brought here. These were Acadian homes and they brought them here and now it has lots of displays in each home that you can go through it and shares a lot of the history about the Acadians and this area of Louisiana. So Chris is going to show you the outside, what the village looks like. It's really, really beautiful. Hi everyone, we are even deeper in Cajun country. We are in St. Martinville, and that is south of Lafayette. Uh, behind me you can see Bayou Teche. And this, this area was uh, settled by the Acadians, and um, you saw a bust of uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, the famous poet, and uh, he wrote Evangeline. That was a story about the, Cana the Acadian exile. Um, and that's actually commemorated. There's a memorial here for that poem. Um, and also the, the live oak where 
Evangeline met Gabriel is here, so we'll show you that as well. There's also a cultural heritage center here and an Acadian memorial where people can actually go and look at all the names of the, of the Acadians who settled here in Louisiana. There's an eternal flame burning for the exile. Um, and actually we've met a lot of French people like from France um, who are here, I guess, learning about their family that, that would have gotten separated in the exile from Canada. Um, and then as the Acadians um, you know, tried to find places to live, one of them was Louisiana where they set up and tried to reorganize their families and, and establish themselves. Um, so it is just such an interesting area and it does feel almost, even though it's part of the United States, it's one of the few places that really feels like it almost isn't. Um, everything in all these museums and things, everything's in English and in French. The, accents here are so unique. I even studied language. I studied Spanish in college, so I'm, I'm accustomed to studying languages, and yet the accent here is something that it is just so unique to anything I've ever heard, and people are trilling their R's, even they're speaking English. I can't even explain it. it. It doesn't sound like a French accent, but there's a little bit of French to it. There's a little bit of South to it. There's a little bit of something else, so it, it, it's really, really unique, and all the streets are named Rue, and and uh, you know they have the parishes here in Louisiana instead of counties so so it's really really interesting but we'll show you just a view of the memorial here and um, you can come with me to see the bayou and behind me and then over here is the buildings where the uh, Cultural Heritage Museum and Center of Memorial Center are Hey everybody, so we are out to experience a little bit of Cajun music and dancing. Um, can't come to Cajun country and not experience that, so we've decided to come out and check out Pont Bros Restaurant in uh, Bro Bridge, um, which is just a little bit east of Lafayette. So we're going to go in and check it out, see what this is all about. Yeah. 